blaster. <gasps> Excellent observation, Dorothy Ann. Ants don't actually talk to each other, but they do communicate. I got it! It's a western! Starring an ant that rounds up food, see? And then tells the rest of the ants where it is. That's good, Ralphie, that's good. We'll call it food. Excellent, Carlos. An ant whose job it is to buy food is a forager ant. Dude is a wonderful name for Keisha's aunt. Oh, um, Miss Rizzo, are we going on a field trip? <laughs> Very observant, Arnold. Observant. I like it. I like it a lot. Is that her? Is that my aunt? I don't think so, Keisha. Director to bus, please. Director to bus. Oh, bad. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Miss Rizzo, we've lost her. We've lost our star. I can't do a movie without a star. Oh, right you are, Keisha. She's one in a million. Huh? <laughs> Seat belts, everyone. Here we go. Again? Your 
it or a garden. So what is it about, Keisha? We can't write this script without a star. Hmm. Let me think. Don't worry, everybody. It's all part of the creative process. She's thinking of a story. Hey, check it out. Wow. Where are they going? Man, you must be right here. Look, Keisha, I cast a thousand. I don't look anything like these ants. And what's the plot, Keisha? Who's the star? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Who knew so many ants would audition? Um, Keisha, maybe it would help if we worked with the ants. Got to know them better. We're not going inside an ant, are we? No, Arnold. But Phoebe's right. Understanding begins with observation. Good idea, Phoebe. Method acting. I love it. Okay, everyone. See the ant. Feel the ant. Be the ant. This ant's rubbing its head. And this one's licking itself. That's it, Arnold. Be the ant. But I did this today already. Uh, in the shower. Hey, maybe the ants are cleaning themselves. Oh, Tim, your logic is spotless. Yeah, these two are kissing. Keisha, I've got it. The movies are romance. Get it? <laughs> Romance! <laughs> Carlos! These ants aren't kissing at all. Yeah, it looks like that ant is giving the other ant something. Oh, sure. Give it back to me after you've chewed it. What is it? Mallow blaster. I recognize it in any form. So those ants are passing food around. Cool. A food passing ant would make a great star. Think of the story. I have Carlos, and it doesn't work. One day, an ant passed food to another ant. It just doesn't feel complete somehow. <sighs> Forget that one. Come on, Keisha, we need a star. Hey, the star could be the president. <laughs> Get it, president? Carlos, stop. I know we need a star, Carlos. I just haven't seen the right ant. Everyone, stay with your partner. <laughs> Pupae is plural. Pupae, pupa, whatever. 
pretty exciting story if you ask me. It would make a great documentary. <laughs> documentary? No way, Carlos! Mr. Cut's class did a documentary last year on cows, remember? Just to keep you up to date, Keija, we are not doing a movie about a forger ant, a guard ant, a nurse ant, a larva, or a pupa. Keisha, there aren't any ants left! Well then, how about an egg? Oh no, an egg! That's even worse! Um, Miss Frizzle, where do eggs come from anyway? Oh, good question, Phoebe. The eggs came from uh, the queen.
the sun came out. The end. Yeah. That was amazing. How did you do it? I didn't do a thing. It was Keisha's idea. Yes, but I couldn't have done it without Phoebe. And I couldn't have done it without Arnold. And I couldn't have done it without Dorothy Ann. And I couldn't have done it without Carla. And I couldn't have done it without Wanda. Her part was truly significant. Get it? <laughs> and I couldn't have done it without Tim. And I couldn't have done it without Robbie. And I couldn't have done it without Miss Frizzle. And I couldn't have done it without the school bus. But none of us could have done it without the inspiration of the ants. As I always say, it's easy if you've got talent. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 